Cheers, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Bourbon Booze. It's Friday, it's cocktail hour, and we're gonna do another really short one here today. We're going to do... Oh, are we doing scotch and water? We're going to do scotch and water. Uh, you pulled this on me. <laughs> I thought you wanted to do a little more research. We we talked about scotch and water, and I did do research. Uh, oh. It's add water to taste. So, oh, um, oh, yeah. I've had it once before, and I don't think I added water to taste. I just... Added water. Added water, and I did not like it. But that was a long time ago, and it was a different scotch. I think it depends on the scotch. I like my scotch neat. Oh, yeah. Every once in a while, I'll add a drop of water. What do you not like neat <laughs> when it comes to whiskeys? True. Uh, however, I have had scotch and water before. Uh, when in, in Scotland, when I was in Edinburgh, I uh, had learned that Scotchmen usually like up to a 50-50, um, traditionally. A 50% water, 50% scotch. And it's probably why they can drink so much. Well, is that also traditionally to just sterilize the water? Sure. Because that's where a lot of cocktails come from is... Because water is... Like grog was yeah. to sterilize the water. You put mm. rum and grog to... Maybe. I don't know. Make your water more drinkable and more not drinkable. make your sailors drunk. Uh, yeah. So uh, we thought we would... We've always talked about it. Um... Because I think all three of us drink it and eat. Every once in a while, we'll have some ice over it. Well, and scotch and water is a classic, classic. Yes, classic. it's very classic. Um, I don't really know what scotch, so I chose an Isla. Here, we did the so Shildag Island. A strong, Isla. smoky scotch. A strong, smoky scotch, which would help alleviate or eliminate, is probably a better word, the smokiness of it. So let's go ahead and do um, a one ounce pour of scotch. And then you and I will go to taste, okay? Sure. So you can start off with just tasting drops. it. Well, yeah, I'm just tasting it. <laughs> oh, this is smoky. <laughs> if you never had the Shieldag Isla, um, it's a wonderful. It's a very smoky though. Yeah, very wonderful, but also very inexpensive. Like, I think it's around $20. Yeah. It's your more standard, very smoky scotch. So I like that just the way it is. But when you want to just kind of dilute the flavor and that smokiness, you can use droppers. Uh, some people, like when I'm in a bar, I'll get a glass of water and a straw, and I'll just straw it in. But Well, and you'd be really, really surprised if you haven't watched all the other episodes and just watched Cocktail Hour. Cocktail Time. We switched from cocktail hour when we said it was never an hour. Yeah. So cocktail time. That a single drop of water makes a ginormous difference mm -hmm. on your whiskey. It can make it better. It can make it worse. And I so did. it's best to try it. Yeah. Because then you might find that you like your very good whiskey with one single drop of water because it breaks up the aromas. It literally, it, it definitely does stuff. It's it not just superstition. It brings out the oils and separates them for a time until they can remingle. So if you right. put um, a drop and then drink it, it yeah, changes the Yeah, we always flavor. like to add one or two drops when we do reviews. Sometimes we forget, but, um, and like I say in the bar, I will do it when I'm doing a, a flight, just yeah. to get uh, kind of a sense of it. Uh, but it does add a lot to the flavor and aroma. Sometimes it's a lot that you like, and sometimes it's a lot that you don't like. Yeah, sometimes it can disrupt the whole whiskey and you shouldn't put water in it, or at least for us, on our flavors, because sometimes it can bring out the oils that then are right. the part of it that is like really harsh or bitter or something. It can change the aroma and the flavor. So I did uh, four drops in here. And it makes it a little bit more um, less smoky and less bite. Mm. Ice is also a thing yeah. you can add. I don't know. Uh, not only the cooling factor, but also the water from the melting. Because right now it's melting right away. Yeah, it'll instantly start to melt. Um, that's why a lot of people like uh, the balls, the ice balls, because they don't. Or, or, giant cubes because they don't melt as fast yeah and dilute mm. yes and no so what'd you add 
like 25% or? It was probably closer to half. Yeah, so tra traditionally. Now it's bitter water. Traditionally, it's, it's a half half. water. Um, it'll make your whiskey go further, by the way. Yeah, but the flavor is gone. Well, that's why I chose the Isla. It is much better than the last time I had scotch and water. Yeah. It's not bad, though. It's not bad, but it's not scotch nor water. Right. But for somebody, scotch and water. for somebody who doesn't like scotch, yeah, um, especially the Islas, the, the smoky scotch, well, it's got this no, would probably be great for them. Maybe if you wanted to, if you were trying to get into scotch, say you were trying to connect with someone or just wanted to get into that world of smoky scotches, you could start off by doing scotch and waters, smoky scotch and water. Yeah. And just have a cocktail of that, because then you can ease yourself into it, because it's way, way toned down. Like, just straight up toned down. It's like smoked and water, it might be even, but even very lightly smoked water. Right. It might even be better with a space side that's more sweet and floral. I think something a little sweeter and maybe less smoky would yeah. be better for your standard scotch and water, but I don't think that the standard scotch and water is necessarily to taste as much as to drink more. <laughs> I, yeah, well, I think what it is... Or sterilize your water. You know, if you're from Scotland or, or you just know the history of Scotch and water, please leave a comment below. Yes, but, we want to know. But I actually think that it's more of a social type Could of be. venue where you want to have a drink in your hand and be able to drink, but not totally get drunk, so you're just... Well, and it also could be a specific scotch to where when you douse it half and half. Yeah. That it brings out those bitter tones and maybe you like those or sweet tones. And this one is kind of brings out bitter, makes it very lightly smoky. It just so happens that when this episode comes out, I will be in the UK. Maybe I'll order from a pub scotch and water. There's one just down the street from the house. Just need to go to a pub with a old gentleman there and it's just have down him. From, yeah talk your ear off about the history of scotch and water. It's literally just down from the house. An old traditional pub and uh, just need to find an old guy. He's an old guy. Or a nerd. And he likes to talk your ear off. Or a nerd. You could find a young They don't have the greatest too. selection of um, whiskeys. They do, but it's more of a beer pub. But maybe I'll just order one. It's much better than the last time I had it. So maybe I like it with, better with whiskey. And actually, Signe and I will be at the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society bar in but they should know. You and ask them. We might ask them. So, but tell you us can what comment. You, yeah, I'll <laughs> comment. Tell us what you think in the comments below. Um, to me, scotch and water is not my thing. I'd much rather just have scotch, scotch, neat. or water. Yeah, or water. <laughs> yeah, I get a glass of water. But it is different from the last time I tried it. I don't remember what I tried the first time. So we should try it when we're just right. trying things to see if there's in, a in the preferred. research it never said what kind of scotch that's why i chose isla thinking it's help mellow it but it could be sometimes you just think that people that write all these alcohol articles don't drink because <laughs> yeah. you should specify because there's so much variation and in when all I look of these at cocktails things. i'm more interested in the history of where it originated and how long it's been around and stuff like that or if it's yeah Sounds disgustingly delicious. I know. Tell Sometimes what you we think. do that. Uh, make sure you do hit that like and subscribe. Check out all of our videos. Remember, on Saturdays now we have a distillery spotlight, so check those out. And then all of our videos Monday through Friday at noon. Check out Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, merchandise, right? Instagram. And did I say Instagram? I don't think so. No, oh, Instagram, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Maybe TikTok. you did. You just kind of. Mm, it's a word jumble now that yep. I don't even think no I don't understand <laughs> have a great weekend we'll see you tomorrow for our distillery spotlight and Monday for oddities cheers <laughs>